Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Jailbreak Overlander. I'm Richie, and today, this is Jailbreak. We're gonna talk about a backpack made by a company notorious for making backpacks for people that aren't pussies. They make them for people that climb to the top of the mountains and bring the carcass back down. Today, we're gonna take an in-depth look at the Kafaru Shape Charge. I've had this backpack for about a month and a half. I've worn it as I've worn it a couple of dozen times. I've got way more weight in there than most people would be carrying. And I'm gonna show you why this is probably one of the best day packs, hands down, that I've ever owned. And now bear in mind, I've owned Camelback, Mystery Ranch, Go Rucks, you name it, I've had one, at least one. The Kafaru backpack, hands down, blows it away. So grab yourself a beer, grab yourself some popcorn, don't grab a face mask and check this out. Okay, we've all seen the videos where a hiker is wearing a backpack, walking down a perfectly groomed trail, and they're showing you the backpack, and they're wearing it, and they're climbing up a rock, etc. This ain't going to be one of them videos. This is a video about a backpack made by a company called Kafaru. These guys have been in business since 1978, and they make backpacks that can not only make it to the top of the mountain, but they can carry down the bear, the mountain goat, the elk, or the soldier that's at the top. They do not make backpacks for pussies. So this video review isn't gonna be made by a pussy. If that offends you, hit the thumbs down, go shelter in place right now. Otherwise, here we go. I wanted to find the most remote area I could so I strapped on the shape charge and I hiked eight miles into the woods to a bug out location that somebody has built in a place that I usually go to do filming for things just like this. So it was perfect. This is the Kafaru shape charge. This backpack is no joke and it has recently taken the place in my rotation from the Mystery Ranch Scree that I was carrying. They're the same size, same dimensions, basically the same type of a setup, except the Kafaru blows away the Mystery Ranch by a lot, and it's made in America. That's hard to say these days. So real quick, the dimensions. It's a 33.5 liter bag. It's made out of 500D DWR coated fabric, seven rows by four channels of molly, and an internal frame sheet with 18 inch stays. It's got two water bottle spotting scope pockets and it has zippered pocket organization inside that I usually don't find inside my Kafaro backpacks. This was a pleasant surprise. Kafaro went above and beyond with this particular setup, in my opinion. You can fit a 32 ounce bottle in the side, no problem. You don't have to squeeze it in or put it in there when the backpack's empty. And they have given you so much storage in size inside this setup it's amazing they use their uh, proprietary buckle system on there if you're familiar which are phenomenal and when you open it up there is tons of storage you can fit so much inside here it's insane it comes with the chamber pocket as you would expect and it has the four rows by eight channels of molly inside plus the omni sheet that i'm tapping on right now it's a nice, nice setup. There's so many things you can do with this. It's amazing. I'm incredibly impressed. 
I've owned a half a dozen Kafaru bags and this has the best storage by far. You've got a large pocket on the top that you can easily get to that's got organization inside it. Plus, you can access this entire pack straight up from the top. And when you flip it open, as you can see, there's more storage and organization inside, and it's large. You can fit a lot in here, and I'm going to show you how much I did fit in this pack. It's amazing. I own the 44 Mag, the AR, AMR, and I've owned the Reckoning, and this bag blows them away as far as organization. The boys at Kifaru knocked it out of the park with this one. You can tell these guys use what they make. It's incredibly obvious. So you can access this from the top or you can throw it on the bottom or throw it on its back and access it just like this. You unzip it, one continuous zipper, it opens up. You can gain access to everything inside nice and easy. It doesn't go falling all over the place. And I've got a lot of gear in there. I mean, that's a lot of stuff in a 33 liter backpack and this is the organization inside the front that I was bragging about you've got the zippered pocket right there and then you've got this sleeve right here as well and don't forget they do give you a hook to hang a hydration bladder the only issue is I couldn't find an outlet to run the hose for the hydration bladder but that might just be me this is how much gear I had in there it's a 35 millimeter Canon EOS R with a 24 by 244 millimeter lens on it, which is big. Full size IFAC, 32 ounce Nalgene, SAM splint, and of course some protection. They give you two handles at the top. Now, for whatever reason, they don't give you a handle on the inside right there. I don't know why, and it does kind of suck, but you can make do. Tons of molly, tons of compression straps to hold everything in place. I mean, this bag was just so well thought out, I can't stand it. They give you a grab handle on the bottom as well, which is nice. And the harness system is phenomenal. It's more than enough harness to carry 60 pounds because I overload my packs all the time. Adjustable sternum strap, nice, nice padding and ventilation right there. And the longer you wear it, the better it seems to wear. Do you see what I'm saying? And unlike my mystery wrench, you don't have to unpack it to put your 32 ounce bottle in there at all. The side pockets are phenomenal. They're made of tweeve. The buckles are great. Everything on this is top notch and it's made in America. Kafaru, don't ever outsource, please. Ever. There's no need for it. I can't say enough good things about this backpack, just to be honest with you. They, they went above and beyond. I know that I'm, I'm gushing over this, but I love this. Daisy chain on the bottom. You can throw a pack. And you can also hook a Sherman pack to this to give it even more storage. The, uh, the, waist, buckles, the waist belt is phenomenal. Top notch. Tighteners. There's no rolling. There's no nothing on this thing. And I go in really tight places. If you can see all the blood on my arm, that was simply from going through the thorns. This thing's held up incredibly well. So all in all, if you're looking for a day pack that you'll own for the rest of your life, you might want to take a look at the Kafaru Shape Charge. Like I said, you can easily attach another pocket to give it even more storage, but I found this more than suitable. 358 bucks, the way it's set up right now, and again, made in America, and it's probably the last day pack that you'll ever buy. I'm really tough on my gear, and Kafaro has never once let me down. Not at all, and that's saying something. At any rate, if you enjoyed this video, make sure you hit that like, share, and subscribe. And leave a comment below, and I'll return the favor. I am out.